Hey guys, this is a video to understand big omega. So first you need to understand the definition of big omega. Um, F of n is big omega of g of n if c is greater than 0, k is greater than 0, these both are constants, and f of n is greater than or equal to some constant c times g of n whenever n is greater than or equal to some constant k. So here I let g of n equal n, which implies that some constant c times g of n is equal to some constant c times n. And I let f of n equal n squared. So now we're going to go ahead and graph this. And here, so what's c, right? I'm going to let our constant c, we could choose any value, it's going to be equal to 3. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and graph our c times g of n. So that's 3 times n in this case. All right. So now when n, these are our values of n down here on the x-axis and our function output on the uh, y-axis. So when n is equal to 1, then c times n is 3 times 1. So we get 3. And we'll put a little dot there. And when n equals 2, we get 2 times 3. We get 6. And I'm going to put a dot there. There's the 6. Uh, 3 times 3 is 9. So put a dot there at 9. And 4 times 3 is 12. Put a dot. Ooh, I uh, did not do the intervals very well. So we have 12. And 5 times 3 is 15. So this is supposed to be a straight line. And um, my intervals are not great. So, um, but you know where the points are. So, now we're going to graph our f of n. And our f of n, when we use the red marker, starts off with n squared. So when n equals 1, we get 1. And when n equals 2, we get 2 squared, which is 4. Do, do, do 4 about here. Uh, 3 squared is 9, so that's the same point there. And 4 squared is 16, so it's here. And 5 squared is not on the uh, it's not on the graph. Let's make that a red dot. Okay. And now let's go ahead and draw that curve. Wow. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, but what you can see here, you can see at this point here, when n equals 3, our functions are equal. And then after that, our f of n function, that's in red here, grows much faster, greater than or equal to our other function, c times g of n. So what that means is that 3 is our k value. And so now, what we can do is, we can write this equation again in terms of, uh, of uh, g of n equaling to n, f of n equaling to n squared, our c equaling k, uh, 3, and our k equal length 3 as well. And we can see if that equation is true. So let's rewrite this. So we have f of n, that's n squared, is greater than or equal to some constant. We said our constant was 3. That's what c is times our g of n, our g of n is n, whenever, whenever n is greater than or equal to k. And remember we said our k was also 3, that's where the equations were equal. And is this true? The answer is yes. So let's go ahead and put in some values here. And we say n is greater than or equal to 3. So let's put in 3 here for n. We get 
3 squared is greater than or equal to uh, 3 times 3, because we put in 3 for n, and that's true. That implies that we get 9 is greater than or equal to 9. Let's try another value greater than 3. Let's try 4. So we get 4 squared is greater than or equal to 3 times 4. This implies that 16 is greater than or equal to 12. That's also true. Let's do one more. Uh, so this was when n equals 3 here, n equals 4 here, we'll do n equals 5. So we get 5 squared is greater than or equal to 3 times 5. This implies 25 is greater than or equal to 15 when n equals 5. And all these statements are always true. Therefore, therefore f of n belongs to or is big o, uh, a big omega of g of n. So we have n squared is big omega of n. Okay, thank you guys. And uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. And I'm, I'll be sure to put up more. Thank you.